Warning. The subject of this film you are about to watch reveals a crucial secret of your life. You should watch it very attentively, for it concerns a subject that is liable to make fundamental changes in your outlook on the material world. The content of this film is not just a different approach or a philosophical thought. It is a fact which is also proven by science today. Man is conditioned right from the beginning of his life that the world he lives in has an absolute material reality. So he grows up under the effect of this conditioning and builds his entire life on this viewpoint. The findings of modern science, however, have revealed a completely different and significant reality than what is presumed. All the information that we have about the external world is conveyed to us by our five senses. The world we know of consists of what our eyes see, our ears hear, our noses smell, our tongues taste, and our hands feel. Man is dependent on only those five senses since birth. That is why he knows the external world only the way it is presented by these senses. Yet, scientific research carried out on our senses has revealed very different facts about what we call external world. And these facts have brought to light a very important secret about matter which makes up the external world. Contemporary thinker Frederick Bester explains the point that science has reached on this subject. Statements of some scientists posing that man is an image, everything experienced is temporary and deceptive, and this universe is a shadow, seems to be proven by science in our day. In order to better grasp this secret behind matter, let us be reminded of our information about our sense of sight which provides us with the most extensive information about the external world. The act of seeing is realized progressively. At the instance of seeing, Light clusters called photons travel from the object to the eye and pass through the eye lens where they are refracted and focus on the retina at the back of the eye. Here, rays are turned into electrical signals and then transmitted by neurons to the center of vision at the back of the brain. The act of seeing actually takes place in this center in the brain. All the images we view in our lives and all the events we experience are actually experienced in this tiny and dark place. Both the film you are now watching and the boundless landscape you see when you gaze at the horizon actually fit into this place of a few cubic centimeters. Now, let us reconsider this information more carefully. When we say we see, we actually see the effect the rays reaching our eyes form in our brain by being converted into electric signals. 
When we say we see, we actually observe the electrical signals in our brain. By the way, there is another point that has to be kept in mind. The brain is sealed to light, and its interior is absolutely dark. Therefore, it is never possible for the brain to contact with light itself. We can explain this interesting situation with an example. Let us suppose that in front of us there is a burning candle, and we view its light. During this period, when we view the candle's light, the inside of our skull and our brain are in absolute darkness. The light of the candle never illuminates our brain and our center of vision. However, we watch a colorful and bright world inside our dark brain. The same situation applies to all our other senses. Sound, touch, taste, and smell are all perceived in the brain as electrical signals. Therefore, our brains throughout our lives do not confront the original of the matter existing outside us, but rather an electrical copy of it formed inside our brain. It is at this point that we are misled by assuming these copies are instances of real matter outside us. These physical facts make us come to an indisputable conclusion. Everything we see, touch, hear, and perceive is matter. The world, or the universe, is only electrical signals in our brain. For instance, we see a bird in the external world. In reality, this bird is not in the external world, but in our brain. The light particles reflecting from the bird reach our eye, and there they are converted into electrical signals. These signals are transmitted by neurons to the center of vision in the brain. The bird we see is, in fact, the electric signals in our brain. If the sight nerves traveling to the brain were disconnected, the image of the bird would suddenly disappear. In the same manner, the bird sounds we hear are also in our brain. If the nerve traveling from the ear to the brain was disconnected, there would be no sound left. Put simply, the bird, the shape of which we see and the sound of which we hear, is nothing but the brain's interpretation of electrical signals. Another point to be considered here is the sense of distance. For example, the distance between you and this screen is nothing but a feeling of space formed in your brain. Also, objects that seem to be very distant in one person's view are actually images clustered at one spot in the brain. For instance, Someone who watches the stars in the sky assumes that they are millions of light years away from him. Yet the stars are right inside himself and the center of vision of his brain. While you watch this film, you are in truth not inside the room you assume yourself to be in. On the contrary, the room is inside you. Your seeing your body makes you think that you are inside of it. However, you must remember that your body too is an image formed inside your brain. So far, we have been speaking repeatedly of an external world and a world of perceptions formed in our brain the latter of which is what we see. However, 
Since we can never actually reach the external world, how can we be sure that such a world really exists? Definitely we cannot. The only reality we cope with is the world of perceptions we live within our minds.